Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your December the 11th spiritual principle day in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. We'll go ahead and get into this meditation, okay? Creative action can be an inside job. Creative action is not a mysterious procedure, although it is an inside job in rebuilding or reintegrating our disordered and fractured personalities. That comes from IP number five, another look. Addiction is not a way of life. Active addiction is a mess. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual disorder in the flesh. There isn't enough room on this page to list what we lose or risk losing while we're using. Our health and well-being, our loved ones, our freedom, our minds, and our keys. We've all been there. We also lose ourselves. Which self? Exactly, which indeed, in the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous, we often hear members say, out there, I was a chameleon. While we were using, we changed our behavior, even our personality, from situation to situation, to meet our self-centered ends, to survive. That's some masterful creativity for sure. As with all our defects, if we flip the coin over, there's an asset on the other side. We can be as curious and adaptable as we are manipulative and self-seeking. By the same token, just as we used our creativity to survive, we can rely on it now to rebuild our lives from the inside. When we're clean, our creative efforts aren't squandered away on hiding who we are. We don't have to waste energy developing new strategies to get what we want at the cost of our sanity and everything else we stand to lose. Instead, we take a creative approach to our program of recovery and change it up when we need a reboot. In working steps, we learn who we are, who we were not, or rather who we're not, and who we want to be. Through sharing and listening to other members, we can figure out what's broken in us, which parts can realistically be glued back together, and which can be tossed in the bin. As a result, we learn how to express who we are with integrity. We get to be our true selves in relationships with others. And in the ways we dig into work, our interests and service. Some of us even find creative ways to keep track of those bloody keys. Today, I will look at what's messy or broken inside of me and use my imagination to identify what I could do to create some order and serenity in this brain of mine. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. Interesting, huh? Creative action can be an inside job. I like that. It's not a mysterious procedure. It's a process, right? Of us using our imagination on what we can do to rebuild and reintegrate our disordered and fractured personalities. I love this meditation. I'll tell you why. I, I really like this because it takes the 
the depersonalization out, right? It makes it personal, personal. It makes the fractured personality, the disordered personality, and the repair and rebuilding of it personal. When it says we, we figure out a way to be creative, we use our imagination to identify what we can do to create some order and serenity in our brains. Right? And it compares actively using to not just losing our sanity, but so many other things, physically always losing things as well. You know, one of the things I did, and often I still lose keys, so don't let me say I don't lose keys. But when I use the system that I established to stop me from losing the keys, stop wasting time, get up early, ready to go, and then I cannot find the keys in the time that I had to be early for whatever I was trying to be in attendance for, it's gone. How frustrating that it, because of my own abs, absent-mindedness, so I have a place by the front door where the keys go. And if I follow that procedure that I established to help myself, I use my imagination to create consistency, you see? If I do just that, my life is simpler. But when I don't follow my plan, it's not. That's just with car keys. What about life? What can we do in regards to all of the other stuff that is fractured, broken? Sometimes it just starts with a simple commitment. I'm going to do thus and so at such and such a time. And not wavering off of that, really, really embracing self-care. Today, I want for you to be thinking about that. It's December 11th. We're almost done with the year. And many of us set goals at the beginning of the year, every year, and we never attain them. So let's do something different. Let's set a goal today to do something different and just pick one area that is unmanageable in your life today and come up with a plan. It doesn't have to be foolproof bullet plan, right? But come up with a plan that will work and start doing it. If it's early enough where you're listening, start today. For some people, it's just I'm going to do some jumping jacks and walk in place to some music for 30, 40 minutes. For some people, that's what that looks like. I know you can do it. I believe in you. My name is Maddie Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.